Hey Sneakies, welcome back for some more Warframe. In this episode, we're going to see the introduction of the newly added primary weapon, the Opticor. Remember to leave a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe for more videos in the future, and as always, I do hope you enjoy. Here we go. Alright Sneakies, so here it is, the Opticor. I have to say, that thing looks absolutely massive, that's what she said. I mean, it just looks like in tier 2 enemies like crazy, so it definitely has the aesthetic appeal going for it at the very least. The only question is, can the damage actually live up to it? Well, to answer that question, let's go over here to the right and look at that puncture damage. 425 and it's a rank 0. Now, most weapons don't have anywhere near this much, especially not in an unranked state, so this is going to be really awesome. In fact, we're going to nickname this the OP Decor. And it should be especially effective against the Grenier faction at the very least. Can't wait to use this. Getting a little bit hyped up before I even try it out. Probably not the best idea, but... I think it's going to live up to the hype. Anyways, this was just recently added update 15, which just came out for the PC version. It will be available at a later date on the PS4 and Xbox One versions, however it is not currently. Now typically in these intro episodes I will show you the process of building the, pro the uh, weapon, however I will not be doing so in this episode for one because the developer gave me access to it as soon as the update went live so I didn't even have to build it. And number two, I don't have access to a clan dojo right now on the PC version, so I couldn't have gotten it anyway. Now, I'll still give you the actual building requirements. So, it requires 30,000 credits, 5 field runs, not too bad, 20 gallium, that's a little bit crazy, that's a rare resource, 600 cryotic, that's not too bad, and then one form as you would expect for any clan dojo research weapon, and then it requires 24 hours to actually build it. So, all in all, not too bad. I mean, it'll take some time to get that Gallium, but not too bad. Anyways, before we get into our mission, let's see if it has any polarity icons on it by default. Alright, and awesome. It actually does have one on it by default. It has the V-shaped icon, which is for damage-based mods. That means this serration will fit nicely there. However, this is not a regular serration. It's a damage mod. Basically what that means, it's kind of like a starter mod. Ever since update 14 came out, they introduced damage versions of some regular mods. That means they're not quite as effective, but they also don't cost as many points to equip. Like, for example, Serration in Unranked State, it normally gives plus 15% damage. However, it also costs 4 points to equip, so it's very nice that it, it at least evens out a little bit in that sense. But we definitely need to come across a regular Serration for sure. Anyway, Sneakies, let's head over to our mission. Now, we already know this will be especially effective against the Grenier faction, however, I want to test against somebody else to get a true idea if this actually deserves the name OP Tecor. So, we're heading back to Ishtar on Venus. It's a capture mission controlled by the Corpus faction and the lows range from 6 to 8. Let's go get them! Infiltrate, here we go! Alright, so let's let this poor camera be the first casualty of the Opticore. Nice one hit kill, it's showing some promise. Try it on a real enemy now. Alright, so I do have to go this way. Ah! You're on the sensors now. You've been detected. Too many enemies, too many, too many, too many. These are high value targets. Their capture is crucial. Alright, so the point of a capture mission is to go onto the mission and find these two special enemy units. <laughs> One hit kill. <laughs> this thing is crazy. I'm already an Opticore fanboy. Oh, can they take out an, an Osprey in one shot? Oh man, I love this gun. I would marry this gun right now if it was physically possible and socially acceptable. Good night. The only problem is it does take a little while to charge up the shot, so it definitely needs like a speed trigger or something on it. Boom! Okay. Now let's go capture some targets. Now, I only need to physically capture one of them to complete the mission. Oh, that was not good. Not good, not good, not good. Too vulnerable. 
but there are two on the mission. I believe it's something that they're probably going to change in a later update because there's really no... I didn't even intend to roll through it, but it's somehow I did. <laughs> okay. I believe they will change in a later update because it seems kind of pointless to only require the capture of one target. I mean, there should be some kind of perk to going out of your way to capture both of them. Like, give some extra experience or something at the very least. We'll have to see in the future, though. Currently, that is not the case, though. Alright, come on. Come get me. Oh, thank you for the Oxium. I need as much of that as I can get. Oh, there's the enemy unit right there. Gonna have to get poor Zephyr again on the PC version. Oh, one hit, 1,000 shot damage. Alright, not bad. Two shots and he's dead. Not bad at all. Alright, so we have one more target to go and then we can extract from this mission. I really don't even need to use the Opticore anymore to know that I'm going to love this gun. I already love it right now. Stupid camera, I don't like you. I do not like you. I would even go as far as to say that I hate it. Hate's a pretty strong word, so yeah. Now, that's typically what we want to do when you come up to these laser grids. You want to either roll through it or do like the melee slide. Roll. Like the melee spin attack, that's what it's called. Spin attack, not a slide. Alright, so we gotta keep going here. Now, I especially want to be careful right now because Volt is currently the only Warframe I have on the PC version, so I do not want to waste all my revives just yet. I do like that it doesn't require a full charge to release a shot. I think the bows can fire faster though because this requires half charge. I think the bow can require basically nothing. Thank you for some more Oxium. I'll take that kindly. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going. Next target. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Don't die, Volt. Don't die. Oh man, <laughs> he's nearly dead. This is not going to end well. I've really got to get used to playing this game with the keyboard and mouse. It's so awkward to me. Never been much of a PC player. Until just recently, really. Alright, so they locked down this entire area. So at least no enemies will spawn in here any longer. That's one plus. He <laughs> had to move at the last second, really. Alright, well, I taught you a lesson that time, buddy. Ugh, okay, these cameras are annoying. Good night. Oh, you're pretty annoying too, Mr. Moa. Take that. <laughs> oh, this gun is crazy. Override successful. Let's get going. They actually made hacking ridiculously easy in this last update. You see that only required two pieces. That's <laughs> that is so different than I'm used to. Alright, there's the last target over there. Oh man. Stop getting behind cover, I don't like that. Okay, maybe I need to release this early sometimes. Like right now, there we go. See, that still works. Don't even have to hold it down the entire time for it to be a kill shot. Boom! Opticore level 2. Damn reload, you're gonna screw me. Okay. Now I'm getting more used to using it. I like this. Give me some health, give me some health. Thank you. You're my life savior. Okay, time to mess you up with the MK1 bow. The staff of death. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. I 
really don't like you. Don't go invisible on me. That's Ash's strategy. Get over here! Uh oh, uh oh, too vulnerable, too vulnerable. Mission complete. The captain has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Okay, shield recharge quickly, quickly, quickly. Now that we've captured both targets, I can now extract. Not a problem. All right, I should probably use my speed ability. Oh, jeez. Ah, yeah. <laughs> go, go, Volt, go. No time to waste, man. No time to waste. All right, here we go. The extraction's right over here. Huh. Go get a Volt. Mission accomplished. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. I have to say, that is the most fun I've had in a mission in a while. That's really saying something too, I typically have a lot of fun in this game. We're now back to our home base, or home ship, whatever you want to call it. New quest is available in your codex. Yes, I'm aware, we'll get to that quest in a later episode, not in this one. Don't you worry, I know a lot of people are asking about it. Alright, so here's a quick look at what we collected. Not much, 5 Oxium, not bad. Got a couple of mods. I don't think I actually had either of those, so that's awesome. On the PC version, anyway. And here's a quick look at my stats, in case you're curious. 27% accuracy, that's not good at all. <laughs> all those shots I missed because I charged up for too long. Anyway, Sneakies, if you're curious about the Opticore, if it wasn't already blatantly obvious so far on this episode, I'm a big fan of it already, and I'm sure I'm going to be an even bigger fan after it hits level 30. Probably even bigger after I put some formas on it and it becomes an absolutely insane killing machine. Not that it's not already, but it could still definitely use some improvement, like the ability to fire faster. Also, I'm sure causing more damage would be nice too. But anyways, I do hope you enjoyed Siggies. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more videos in the future, and I will see you next time.